Hi class, in this section we want to talk about set operations and Venn diagrams with three sets. So this lecture will kind of be like a general introduction to this concept and then in the follow-up lecture after this we'll do um, a little bit more detailed and harder problems with it. Okay, so first off, um, what are the objectives in this uh, shorter lecture? So we want to perform set operations with three sets, uh, then we want to use Venn diagrams with three sets, and then we want to use Venn diagrams to prove equality of sets. Okay, so let's start with some set operations with three sets. So we're given the following universal set. Um, universal set is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Set A is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Set B is the numbers 1, 2, 3, 6, and 8. Uh, set C is the, uh, is the numbers 2, 3, 4, 6, and 7. Okay, so I want to find here first off, um, A intersection, ignore this step three for a second. Okay, that's going to come up in a second. So I want to find A intersection and then in parentheses, B union with C complement. All right, so I want to find what this is equal to. All right, so the first thing you're going to have to do, you start inside the parentheses, you have to find the complement of C. Well, the complement of C is the number of this, the elements in the uh, universal set that's not in set C which would be the numbers 1, 5, 8, 9. Now you want to find the union here of B and C complement. So I'm going to take B and C complement, and I'm going to smush them together to get 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, and 9. I'm just pushing the two sets together and not double counting it. Now in the final step, I want to find the intersection with set A. So here's set A, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I want to find that with the intersection of this, which is 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 8, 9. Well, what do they have in com common when I, when I uh, find that intersection? Well, they have 1, 2, 3, and 5 in common, just like that. Okay. So just took it step by step, started inside the parentheses, found the complement, found the union, then found the intersection. Start always inside the parentheses. Otherwise, work left to right. Okay, so now Venn diagrams with three sets. Okay, so the regions are going to be shown in dark blue here um, that are important. So the, the regions in dark, dark blue here is region five. Okay, so region five here. So this region represents elements that are in common in all three sets. We have set A, we have set B, and we have set C. Okay, so I have three different sets inside the universal set here. And this set five, is where all three of the sets um, in, intersect. Okay, so set five is the set of elements that are in A, in B, and in C. Okay, that's the dark blue here. All right, so what are the regions in light blue? So two, four, and uh, six here. So region two here, this region represents elements in both A and B, but they're not in C. Okay, so these are elements that are not in C. So region two is what's in A and B, but not in C. Region four here, these are elements in both A and C, but not in B. So just A and C, that's what this one represents. Uh, region six over here are elements in B and C, okay? But they're not in A, okay? So notice, I know it seems weird to, to see all this overlapping stuff, but you can see that this region here is not in A, but it's overlapped in B and C. And it's the same with this region and this region up here. Okay, so the center region is the, the region in all of them. And then these regions here are just regions that are in only two of the sets. Well, this one is in three of the sets. Okay, the regions in white. Region one is uh, just the elements in set A that are not in B and C. Okay. Region three here is the elements in set B that are not in A and C. All right, region um, seven here is the elements in C that are not in A and B. All right, and region eight out here it represents the elements in the universal set that are in, not in set A, B, or C. Okay, not at all. All right, so let's let's do some um, examples here just to kind of illustrate it. So I've got this universal set. Okay. And it's got, in region one, it's got 11 and 3. Region two, it has a number 12. Region three, it has 1, 2, and 10. Region four, it has 6. Region five, it has 5 and 7. 
region six it has nine, region eight it has eight, and then outside in region eight there are none. Okay, so let's determine what, what's in set A. Okay, set A is everything in this circle, okay? Everything in this circle is region one, two, four, and five. So that would be 11, 3, 12, 6, 5, and 7. That's everything in A, okay? Let's find A union B. So here's set A. Here's set B. Where do they overlap? Here's set A. Here's set B. Well, it looks like they overlap, all right, in 2 and 5. But since you're unioning them, it's everything in A and everything in B. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So it would be 11, 3, 12, 1, 2, 10, 6, 5, 7, and 9. All right, let's find B intersect with C. All right, so here's B, here's C. And where B and C intersect is where they overlap. Where do B and C overlap? Well, they in overlap in sections 5 and 6. So B intersect with C would just be the numbers 5, 7, and 9, which we have here. All right, what is C complement? Well, C complement is everything that's not in C. So here's C. All right, so C complement is what's not in C. So it's none of this stuff right here. So it would be regions 1, 2, 3, and 8. Well, that would be 11, 3, 12, 1, 2, and 10. There's nothing in region 8. So we got it. All right, so what is the region that is A intersect with B intersect with C? So where do all three have in common? Well, all three intersect right here, just in section 5, and those are the numbers 5 and 7. Okay. It, it, it makes help like to, to see the circles, all right? So if I'm like asking you for A and B, it's this, and this, and try to like not visualize C when you're doing that part. But otherwise, I think the circles and where they interact are, are pretty straightforward to see and to answer questions. Okay, uh, let's talk about proving equality of sets. All right, so let's prove that A intersection with B, its complement, okay, is equal to A complement union with B complement. Okay, so we can apply deductive reasoning using a Venn diagram to prove this statement is true for all sets A and B. So if I set up the universal set, here's set A, here's set B, and here's where they interact or over or intersect. If both sets represent the same reason in the general diagram, this proves them true. Okay, so let's see. All right, so let's begin with the regions represented by A intersection with B and then its complement. Here's A and B, or excuse me, here's A. It's, it's regions one and two. Set B is regions two and three. So their intersection here is just set two, because that's the only thing they have in common. And then its complement is what's left over, which would be sections one, three, and four. All right, so let's see when we do this, if we get sections one, three, and four. All right, so we find the regions by A complement. The complement of A would be three and four. The complement of B would be one and four. So when you union them, all right, when you take these two and you push them together, you get one, three, and four. So since both A um, intersection B complement and A complement union B complement are represented by the same region, the result proves they are equal. So the last thing here is just De Morgan's law. So De Morgan's law says the following. If I have A intersection with B complement, that's equivalent to an equivalent statement would be A complement union B complement. And then if I have A union B and its complement, that's equal to A complement intersection B complement. All right, in the next lecture, um, we're going to be going back to and looking at like two and three sets with word problems and setting up Venn diagrams for them.